Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Now, based upon the title, you might have an idea on what this video is about. I'll make a deal with you. I will show you my untraceable ghost bing bang, but you got to promise not to tell anybody. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm putting this on the internet and the letter boys probably already got a a notification to watch this video. Make sure that they don't need to show up at my house. Oh, man. The games, the games, the games. Big old mess. Anyways, I'm going to show you anyways. So, a little while back, I got an email uh, from one of you guys. I won't say your name because I know a lot of times people don't want their names out there. But he emailed me and said, hey, I got this thing. Um, I think you might be interested in it. And... Back and forth, um, said, uh, I'd like you to have it. I said, okay, uh, that will be awesome. And that's what I got here today. Check this thing out. Untraceable, no serial numbers. Whoa, we'll get it in the good light here. It's a little rough around the edges. So, check this whole thing out end to end, then I'll tell you all about it. Got the little bead on the end. So, and what this is, I haven't tested it out yet, but let me see if I can show you here. Right here is one of the stampings, and it says Continental Arms Co. And then there's another stamp. Right here on the top, it'll be too small for the camera to see it, but it says patented August 12th, 1913. So my research on this, on the interwebs, tells me that this was made sometime between 1910 and 1931, which is pretty, pretty cool. <clears throat> also, my Googling says that there were three main companies that made these Continental Arms, Bang Bangs, those being Stevens Arm and Tool, Great Western Bing Bangs, and Harrington and Richardson. So super, super cool to have something this old. This thing's 100 years old or more. But you can tell it's definitely got some use out of it. It looks like somebody put some real thick uh, stain on it at some point in time. Some real thick like molasses stain on it. And then even after that, it's got a whole lot of use. At one point in time, there was some kind of butt pad or something on there. We might put a new one on there. That'd be actually pretty cool. But um, the whole deal is, if you didn't know, I had to look it up myself. And I'm going to read it right here. In 1968, there was an act in the U.S. government. In 1968, called the 1968 Bing Bang Control Act, and it established the requirement for all Bing Bangs to have a serial number that is unique across the product line. So, hey, if you want a Bing Bang with no serial number, you got to get one that's older than 1968. And this one definitely is. But while we got it up here for the video, let's take a look at it. He said it was a 20 gauge. So I haven't even tested it. Uh, there's no markings that say 20 gauge or anything on it. Um, what I have here is the only box of 20 gauge I got. Some Remington TSS. This stuff's got some horsepower in it, okay? I may or may not fling some of this out of this. Y'all let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below. We'll probably have to do that now that I mentioned it. But y'all let me know if you want to see that. I think it'll handle it. Um, some people probably don't think it will. But this is some 20 gauge TSS. I didn't show you the end of the box, did I? Where's it at? There we go. 20 gauge. Three inch length. Yeah, like I said, these TSS got some horsepower in it. But just like you'd imagine, that opens the thing. Hammer back and then boogie. And... Yeah, there you go. The 20 gauge fits right in there. So, hey, 20 gauge. Now, come on back out now. Got to get you out of there. Okay, but 
um, everything seems to be functioning. You know what? I'm going to put it in there and close it. I'm not going to fire it. I wonder if it flings them open. Probably doesn't. Yeah, it's got that little uh, hook. I guess you'd call that the extractor to pull it out. So you know how some of them go, boo! That one pulls it out with that little claw. Pretty, pretty cool. But um, it all is functional. Reset the hammer. Virus. Um, so I think we can definitely take it out to the range and see what happens. Y'all let me know if you want to see me fling this super horsepower TSS. Um, I talked to Paul at Heavy Metal. If y'all aren't subscribed to Heavy Metal, Paul, go subscribe to him. The link is in the description of every video. But he's got some more softer stuff, like some run-of-the-mill 20-gauge birdshot, which these days you just about can't find 20-gauge or 410 birdshot. But uh, Paul's got some at the shop. Maybe what we ought to do is Test some bird shot if it all goes well. <clears throat> Hit some clays with this baby. And then uh, maybe uh, get that TSS out there. How crazy would it be to take a turkey with a hundred some odd year old 20 gauge? I think that would be incredible. Um, we could probably take a, a turkey with the bird shot too, but that'd be even cooler to take the turkey with the, some TSS. But let me know, guys. Do any of y'all have one of these continental arms bing bangs? I think it's super, super cool. Um, in his, his writing to me, he said that he was afraid that um, anybody would get this and, it, you know, possibly something go wrong or whatever. Uh, but I think we could definitely, I've looked through it, you know, I'm, de I'm definitely going to clean it. Um, get it oiled up the barrels uh clean i mean obviously it's a smooth bore but nothing crazy or um uh, obstructions or gouges or anything in the barrel looks good like i mean for a for probably a good stretch of those hundred years uh a guy or two probably kept pretty good uh care of this thing uh, also let me know what you want to do should we leave it like it is should we spend some time and, and wire brush and maybe try to polish all this and we could re-blue it. I could even redo the stock. I think that might actually be a kind of a fun project to do that in a video. But some people say, oh, leave it old, you know, and you'll hurt the value. Well, these things aren't worth 50, 100 bucks anyway. So um, I actually think that might be kind of cool just to clean it up, make it prettier, you know. But hey, guys, appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for more videos on this Continental Arms. Let me know uh, what you want to see us do with it. But hey, appreciate you. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned. We got tons of videos coming out, y'all. Y'all are the best viewers on the interwebs. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!